So Legend, I think, is a very, very good surname. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah, people yeah, call him the king of DeFi. Yeah, Others the legend. Yeah, Brian King Legend yeah, is the yeah, CEO yeah, behind yeah, Seifu. Yeah. Dude not only just snitched on himself about having a short dick, this is your leader? This is the, the king legend? This is him right here. Hello guys, this is your host Babriksha and today we're gonna talk about Seifu and Seifu X blockchain. You know, the possibilities and my story about the Seifu X and a Seifu blockchain. What I think and what I believe and how I came into this project. So let's start and don't waste the time. When I started the uh, crypto journey, at that time, it was actually a bear market when I started on the crypto journey and Bitcoin was down like today it's down. So I did a lot of, uh, lot of exploration in, in last couple of years now. And I was looking for different type of project like like the many many came like Libero came then after Libero Sefu came okay Sefu and with the Sefu there are many other Sefus like smart Sefu and small Sefu and big Sefu <laughs> there were many projects they with the Sefu you know but the one who pioneered actually the Sefu that was the original one it was Sefu project founded by Brian Legend and for the test I just uh, you know put 50 bucks in it and just try to see that what actually happening with the project to understand the tokenomics and emission rate and you know about how the treasury is working how the SIF is working how the fire pit is working because fire pit idea was slightly different than titano and libero almost every single coin which is being produced or released in DeFi space or maybe just for trading they use the burning mechanism in it and due to that burning mechanism coin become deflationary there was a silly thing in the in the protocol and uh, that was a, a very simple thing i actually trust mr brian legend uh, i know that he is speaking honestly and he will keep his word and will not dump the fire pit on the people but i knew that this point can also create fud in future FUD need to be settled down. As I was expecting that FUD will come in the future. We never had the keys to the Fire Pit wallet in the first place. When we created the wallet, we'd done that on my Ether wallet, those, and then we created it with a key store file, which means you can download the key store file with a password to access it. We never downloaded it. That file was deleted. And the reason why it was created that way is because we can't have a auto compounding feature on a dead address it needs to be a normal wallet in order to have that compounding feature nowadays firefit is about 23 percent which is very high you know so if if this run like that i think so in the end of the year it will be around 50 percent so this idea of keeping a null wallet in a hot wallet and controlled by a dev or a owner itself. That will take a lot of digestion to di digest this kind of an idea. What's up guys, it's Sean from Rags to Boss. And today we're going to talk about Certic audits on the Safu project. I want to discuss Safu and the Certic egregious behavior. And in today's video, we're going to go ahead and cover exactly what is going on and what had happened with the Certic audit. Certic's highly skilled KYC and fraud investigation teams have delisted the Safu protocol project due to high risk indicators. Come up with some, some type of system that tracks down these assholes so that we could get them and get this to stop so that there could be a deterrent. Because there's no deterrent right now. So at first glance, you might see that and you're always going to look for the negative. So they're just investigating. Obviously, it's going to turn out to be a positive thing anyway. It's just temporarily. So we paid 25 grand. We expect, obviously, Certic to follow through with what they're promised. Firstly, I'd just like to pre preface it by saying that, you know, we didn't need a Certic order. Like, it's not necessary. You know, we're, we're happy to spend money and happy to do things for the community because it just adds that extra trust layer, right? 
Um, but yeah, look, SRT um, Racing Team, we've got uh, Yazoo Drinks that we're in partnership with, we're all, all, which we've just got. We've also got um, BitKeep. Yeah, it's stuff like that that we want to build out and, and do. I caught one of the dumbest scams ever. They advertise a 383,000% return per year. They call themselves Seifu, as in your money is safe, and if you ask how, F you. Coffeezilla, you know, has a narrative, right? and he picks chunks of conversations and data and spins it into his own narrative. Multiple scams, the most notable ones, Fitrova, Tags Exchange, and Clever DeFi. Showcases Seifu as a scam or me as a scam artist. That would be pretty damn unfortunate. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. But that's not the, the plan here. Our second red flag is the burn wallet, which Brian calls the fire pit and the fire pit on a null address. So if we had zero, zero, that, that zero null wallet, it wasn't rebasing on testnet. So we, I thought, well, how do I solve this? Well, I, the only way I can solve it is to put it into a physical, like a, a physical wallet. What I've seen in previous CoffeeZilla videos is when he makes a video, he already comes in with strong, hardcore facts. What are your facts when it comes to the Safu video? He's promising you all this stuff, but he's giving you little crumbs. That's it. Because Safu is a turd, and he would see it for that too. Call me Zilla because he reached out to me, and here's how it went. Your channel exposes scams and shady dealings. However, there is no connection even remotely close to this with Safu at all. So, you know, in hindsight, knowing what I know now, that yes, it does work on my net in a null wallet, of course I would have chosen a null wallet, of course. Yeah, this YouTuber made a fair point here. I mean, Brian Legend, amongst everybody else, he's the only one that came out and said, this is my face, this is me with a YouTube channel. Super transparent, but once again. Anyone that I want to answer, it'd be Daniel. Dummies! Like, what are you even talking about? Let me tell you what's really going on. Anyway, going back to one of his projects tags, look at what happened to the project. Well, it went to zero. That's the reason why the fire pit is there, to negate against those lower price moves. It's the first debate he's gonna have that he didn't pay for. I mean, let's see what happens, right? All you know how to do is bully people. You don't know All you know how to do is bully people. Bruv, bruv, shut up. Yeah, what are you talking about? I don't have a bullshit belief. I believe that you're bullshit. You get it? Thought, what better time as to go on on chain crypto's channel, hash it out with him, but I really thought it'd be more professional than what it was. Dummy, bruv. Dude just snitched on himself. Like, did I ever say, did I ever say you have a short dick, Brian? What Oliver, are you talking about your dick? Oliver, okay. I didn't think that he would be an attack dog, like full bully style, not letting me a chance to speak. This person that was here, this human being, I don't see the material for them to produce any value. I don't see it. And a lot of people don't, don't like the negativity and neither do I. And any negativity like that spirals out of control sometimes. And many people just sell because they they just get fearful. Um, and that's what on-chain crypto is trying to do. The circulating coins are about 7 million and 9 million is about total supply, in which more than 2 million has been burned off. And 80% and 80 of supply is already locked for it. These uh, inflationary mechanism will look deflationary out of a few years. Many people will try to follow me or try to invest in it. So I try to give my honest opinion about the protocol so those people who come and try to invest in it they know the entire entire detail of the project and how it's still working and how people wanted to see this protocol in the future so um, I am giving my honest opinion about that so this is why I'm telling you the entire history my video could be slightly longer but I do not make a lot of videos very short I like to speak uh, when I speak about a protocol or anything about um, crypto, uh, I would like to speak uh, slightly more than less so that people can understand more. Okay? Just because that Firebit is not a null address, that doesn't make the protocol less working or less useful or uh, I would say um, it's not functioning. But Seifu is the only protocol which survived very long and it's a, it's a very high paying protocol, a high paying APY protocol, don't take me wrong, it's, it's actually paying their own token at an inflationary rate of uh, 383,000 
and 0.25.80 percent which is almost uh, 2.28 percent a day this is too much <laughs> you know <laughs> if i would be earning this much money in fiat you know i would love to but it's actually yeah, i'm earning a lot of token in it so that's why the price uh, the price was falling down and then the liquidation period came so like in the may actually the liquidation time came a lot of people were liquidated with their bdc like three arrow capital and uh, celsius decline usd spiral death 250,000 bdc were sold which was billions of billions of dollars every protocol is attached to the bdc somehow if you talk about bnb bnb is paired with BTC actually so when BTC falls BNB also falls so whatever is pegged with the BNB those guys are also falling so Sefu was non-different it was attached with the with the BNB so it was keep falling 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 and falling and the Fudster did a great job you know they create a fear in the in the investors and they were selling which was actually an opportunity for me you know for me I was I understood that I need to I need to buy some you know why I bought it because I was watching this entire thing you know entire thing I usually I usually do not invest in any project until I know that uh, what this project is actually what this project will actually deliver in the future so that's why I do not uh, do not invest in the rush because in the beginning when I was investing in the in the um, in the DeFi space in the in the crypto space I was uh, I was like I was like FOMO into you know FOMO into like oh no I need to buy this you know, it's going higher 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 but with with my learning, I have learned that never buy in heat and never sell in cold. So I do the opposite. I buy in cold and I sell in heat. That's what I do. Okay. And so it was Sefu was cold <laughs> in the June. So I took the chance. I said, let's DCA into and why the people are coming back to the Sefu and price of safety is going higher number one thing is this that FUD is actually dissolving itself with the passage of time the people who were like fudding with Seifu they found nothing in Seifu to be wrong you know like protocol is working completely fine and uh, there's nothing wrong in it every day you receive your rebases you know no hacks if you if you if you've been into elephant money you know what i'm talking about hacks if if you've been into the animal farm you know that um, bar attacks almost kill the entire protocol and it's still a pause you know same it's like with elephant you know so this thing is is no hacks you know it's working and the only thing you have to worry I was worried about is actually the inflation rate which is produced by this protocol was so high it is very much high <laughs> but I thought that fire pit is the place which will control it so that's not the exactly reason why I am investing in the Seifu but the reason was this that uh, Brian himself announced that that he gonna make the blockchain which will pay the rebase higher quite higher APY and somewhat similar to whatever he's offering right now but it is actually a promotional APY which will run for only uh, eight eight months eight months of time you know so in that eight months they will inject the market with a lot of coins okay a lot of coins which is also good 
which is also good because uh, the people who wanted to make a projects on the Seifu blockchain they need a lot of tokens okay you cannot mine that and mine that because this is not proof of work blockchain this is gonna be a proof of stake blockchain initial offering of on the blockchain will be six dollar a coin a piece okay so that will also help the newer investor to come and hold that in the promotional period of time if he has a sense to control that for complete eight months if you control that coin for complete eight months it can do wonder in your life you know it can do wonder in your life because the fire bit rate there is actually two times higher than safe safe fire bit okay and that fire pit will also be the null address not the hot wallet the way um, Brian legend has created in the safe protocol which is actually a smart move you know because it will not stop the bigger money to come into the protocol and dissolve you know and um, this rebasing blockchain will, I believe, has a future. That's why I bought the Seifu, you know. And I'll be keep buying Seifu until I have at least 100,000 Seifu. Okay, and that's the target. It's a big target, but that's what I try trying to achieve. So I hope um, I will, I will, I will achieve that. So actually i'm buying safe right now because i'm preparing myself for the sacrifice you know i wanted to sacrifice and got some safe axe in hand that is actually the real gold you know that is the gold safe is in in myself was actually a silver <laughs> compared to the <laughs> safe x blockchain so i consider it like as a gold um, if, uh, if, if, uh, if the blockchain need to be successful then they must have the ability to actually uh, have a lot of coins actually in, in, in circulation so that people can buy, sell, hold and make new projects and those projects are continuously burning the coins, transactions are burning in the, in the process you know and the the protocol can also buy back from the market and manually burn the token if they feels that market needs to be slightly um, but that demand and supply interaction slightly has to be adjusted so even in the bnb do that you know cc do that uh, when he feels it, it need to be burned then they took the BNB from the market and just they completely burned it out and send it to the null address. So that can be also done by uh, by the by the by the owner itself, like by the Brian uh, Legend himself. So that is also um, a very very optimistic point. And the second thing is this: um, after the eight month promotional period of time. The APY will shrink to very, very small, very small level, which is also very good. Um, actually, the Brian uses slightly difficult term for it, like fix flex APY, <laughs> but it's actually a, a tier based system. Okay, it's actually a tier based system. They call it that. They derive this word. Uh, actually, Brian Legend said that he is the one who created. And the flick, uh, fix flex APY, maybe I'm wrong in it, but it's actually a tier based APY. You know, in first eight months, you will you will achieve higher APY, and the next uh, 12, four months, you will uh, receive the smaller APY. You know, depending how the protocol is working, so um, that's how they're gonna do. But um, if the people are thinking that the safe who is going to sink and not gonna come up there, and they are completely wrong. You know? They're completely wrong because uh, it never I, I in my life 
in in past 700 days i have not seen any single blockchain go back to the ico level from where it started it doesn't happen like that this thing is 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 going to shoot up you know and the people who are not not uh, not very much bullish about the project and they are bearish like they are selling now especially now this is the time of accumulation this is the accumulation phase of safeu to get a better deal in safeu x uh, this is actually the accumulation period this is not the selling period but still i have seen the people are selling price dip almost 3 to 4 time you know it go it go back to the, it, it go down to the 16 and then it come back again in 20s and then go back down and then it come up today is it's uh, today is is what today is is it's 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 it's, it's slightly less than 20 dollar okay um to, yesterday it was 17 dollar around when i was checking it so the people who think that this project is not going to work they are completely they are completely not thinking what actually happening so that is the reason i i invested in safe acts and i'll be keep dcing my position uh, until the day of uh, uh till the day of sacrifice you know i'll be dcing to and uh, i like this project it's a very good project i have invested in many projects like Uh, some of the token have given me nothing you know and they value nothing just few cents but i still keep that uh, just for the just for the experience that how much you can lose if if you do not sell and buy wisely educating myself every single day every single day i am better than the last day and on the last day i have spent in this earth i am better than that today you know tomorrow i'll be more intelligent so i spend most of the time with uh, with education because the real wealth is actually the information and it's not the things that you have uh, there's a lot of attraction towards the notes so i want to clear one point in that uh, it is good to have a, a note which actually earn you the money with the transaction like any other blockchain is actually earning money uh, the people who are having nodes on the bnb they are earning in thousands every single day and uh, right now buying the uh, node is almost impossible for a common person to buy a node single node running on bnb but at the time when bnb was going to be live there was a time to buy a node the people who bought at that time they were like they are still like rich people you know if they survive such a long period of time so it's earning like thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars every single day you can earn that here with the safeu nodes in the future i believe in the beginning it might not be like 50000 a day you know don't take me wrong but it could be 5000 a day maybe 1000 a day or maybe 3000 a day who knows when if 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 the blockchain is 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 at least having having a circulation supply of more than 300 million dollars or 400 million dollars a day it's very easy to earn thousands of thousands of dollars of transaction fees uh, for the people who keep the notes if you ask me i'm giving you my idea you know i might be wrong you know maybe the project owners and the people uh, they have a better idea than me and they are thinking maybe something else which i am not i'm not thinking of so i believe if the node owners whatever they earn on the they are not getting their re, they are getting their rebase but they they cannot claim that rebase until the promotion period time comes to an end but if but if if i say if you know it's it's my idea if what if 
if you take that rebase of all the node holders, if you take the rebase from them and you lock them in, in a particular kind of uh, agreement, contract or a treasury, which can again produce the rebase and then they can claim the rebase from it, it will help uh, more uh, the blockchain to increase the price level. So the price issue need to be addressed. What will be the price? The people who are thinking that SafeWorks will not work or can be failed. I give you an example why they are thinking like that. Because of the higher APY, because of the higher inflation rate, they are they are thinking like that. that if the inflation rate is so high, then mm, it will it will be it will be not possible for a protocol to maintain that point and just dilute this entire price uh, price thing in just in a matter of days you know uh, maybe in a matter of a few hours you know who knows I mean, they might be thinking like that but i give you an example if you hold the safe right now and you hold till the main net life uh, i mean the event of sacrifice will start on 20th october okay and it will go till 20 january and in, in which you will have all of those multipliers 50% 15% 15% less transaction fee in the beginning and then it will rebase on 2.019% uh, a day and uh, the price of Sefu right now and what will be the price of Sefu X in the future I try to give you a small idea about that okay so the idea is uh, I don't know what will be the price of Seifu at the time of sacrifice, but I do know that the price of Seifu X is six dollar at a time of sacrifice. Until the time of 20 January, it will be a six dollar. Continues, okay? It will be almost a three months um, time in which there will be no buying and no selling will be only rebasing continuously in my idea in my thinking that's my honest opinion if that sacrifice go to slightly more time like at least to reach to a 20 february or a 20 march that would be more better because the accumulation of the token will create a lot of cell pressure itself in the accumulation what you call that? I'll call that cylinder <laughs> or accumulation box. You know, <laughs> it will create a lot of accumulation pressure. Like, sorry, a lot of selling pressure accumulated in that in that container in which there is a lot of token is rebasing. You know, so it will generate a lot of sell pressure for the people at that time. You know, so there's a good chance when the main net live or the blockchain is live in the beginning you see a downfall the price is going downward this could happen you know this could happen for a few minutes this could happen for a few hours and this could happen for a few days maybe for a few weeks who knows nobody knows that but it can go to the downward fall okay and then guess what will happen you know when it goes down the people who are accumulating in the uh, in this entire three months there was no selling you know people cannot cannot live their life without selling you know, they have to sell when when anybody invests in the protocol they know they are there for actually earning the money they damn care about the protocol there are some honest and good people they care about the uh, protocol but most of the people are morally, morally and mainly concerned with their own money you know so there will be a lot of sell pressure at that time so people will be selling when they will be selling the price can go down swing down and guess what what will happen you know the intelligent people the smart money will realize that even still they will be watching you know and still they are watching that what what is going to happen so they are watching. So the smart money 
will come down uh, will will come down and collect all those coins which has been left by the people at the time mean that is life so they're gonna pick up all those coins and the price will shoot going upward 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 and who knows till how long it will go but why they will do like this because there will be many <laughs> dumb people I'm sorry to say that's that's the most more appropriate word for those people so there will be a lot of dumb people or maybe there is a lot of needy people I would say there, there will be a lot of needy people who will be like um, wanted to get their initial uh, income out or their profits out and some will, some will sell 50%, some will sell 70%, some will sell 80, 80% and some will sell entire bags. You know why? Because they, everybody will know that the safe who acts in a six dollar. Okay, so initially it can go down. But then when the smart money comes in, they understand that the people who left the coin with the lower price, that is the chance to go in and give uh, give another shot, you know. So they will pick that and the graph can go like hockey, you know, and go down and like phew, go up, you know. Those people then can hold it for the entire promotional period of time because you will still be having at least you will still be having six months of promotional period of time, which is more than enough to double and triple your money. You know? So that's the point. And when the new project like like merge into a blockchain, like if the pink sale merge into into the Seifu X blockchain that will give even the small uh, project developers a platform to release their own coins on the Seifu you know and the big players can also release the coins on the Seifu like 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 now on BNB Pink Cell do DX uh, DXL to and many other. That's the point. So I believe that uh, Sefu X will um, uh, will be will be the future of uh, of a different type of a blockchain, you know. And uh, people will invest more in it and try to make more projects on it. Even if I got a chance, I will make my own project on Sefu Sefu X if I got a chance, you know. <laughs> so. Because that 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 much I like actually the safe acts you know when I started my research about crypto two years back uh, like I was oh man I missed the BTC oh man I missed the Ethereum oh man I missed the BNB and I missed many blockchains you know <laughs> most of them are top nowadays you know and uh, I don't want to miss on safe acts my heart say that Seifu X is slightly different and it, it's not like like the any uh, any other blockchain it, I might can be wrong you know my ideas can be wrong maybe 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 it doesn't work you know but the chances of not working of any blockchain whatever I have learned in, in, in the crypto space is very very shrinked anywhere like they are planning to have safe plane and all that stuff you know it will take time you know and don't take me wrong that Satoshi Island will take time you know it's not just a one day one day project but it's it's good that they have some vision you know safe for lifestyle safe for racing you know many other stuff you know so they they might have a, a vision at least the people who don't have a vision where to spend when they earn those are the people who lose money by putting their money in wrong places you know most of the people who do not know when they earn the money from something they do not know where to invest again either they do it wrong or they do not reinvest from where they have earned that money or 
they invest somewhere else where they think that there is more chance but crypto is like uh, I will not say it's a wild wild west but it's actually a calculated guess you can very much easily guess the mentality of a dev just by looking to its website and reading by about tokenomics you came to know what he wanted to do you know there are many projects in which I was not planning to invest just because I thought that they will be rug pulls and that's what it happened with them they ended as rug pulls why because if you have in your clear mind you can read the white paper and you can understand the, if you understand the tokenomics how it works how the transaction works how the protocol is earning how the rebase mechanism is working how the fire pit is working what the devs are doing with the treasury and where the bigger money is going where the smarter money is going and what are the future plans what are the projects just just forget about that if someone says a blockchain i'm going to make a, a dex i'm going to make a swap i'm going to make you know that's that these are the common claims you know everybody claim this stuff in the crypto but the good thing about the prime when he claims something he tried to deliver that is the thing i like i didn't invest my money on a protocol just a white paper and some tokenomics i took a bet on a man he called himself a brian legend <laughs> so i wanted to see the legacy of a legend that's why i invested in the protocol i took a bet on a man man name is is brian what do you think <laughs> so if you like this video please like comment subscribe and uh, free to ask me anything if you like this this video about safe and safe acts or if something you think that i'm missing you want me to talk about i can make another video i made this video is about my thought so I may made this video very long because I like long videos and I wanted to explain things in a complete in a complete manner. You know, I can make short videos. I I can make short videos. That's not the point. But the longer one is much better because people can understand uh, the entire stuff. So there are still things left. I know there are things left about nodes and about light nodes about main nodes and how the new projects will work in the safe but i do not want you to make this video too long uh, you won't be able to uh, grasp grasp that entire information just in one video so if you want me to talk about anything else just write me in the comment i will do that if if something you believe that i should i should speak of so Till then, thank you so much and good luck.